He's very good on camera, very knowledgeable. I mean, he is the full package. And I think if you were, you know, saying to him, <laughs> who is it, Vic? Vic. Yeah, it's Vic. <laughs> there may be no harder working sports broadcaster in Denver than Vic Lombardi. Vic knew early on that he wanted to be in sports broadcasting, but no success is ever accomplished without some help along the way. I had a high school teacher named Marty McGovern, who's our journalism teacher, and he convinced me to be the uh, school sports editor when I was a junior, and I said, I, I, I'm, I hate writing, I'm not a big writer. And he made me do it, basically, and uh, he pushed me. Interned with Les Shapiro and Ron Polo at Channel 4. Uh, Les took me under his wing and taught me a lot of the uh, machinations of the business. And Ron taught me to be myself, to carve your own path, to find out who you are. Don't try to be somebody else. Vic got his start in Elkhart, Indiana in 1991. And after stops in Austin and Phoenix, he came back home to Denver in 1998 to a job at KCNC TV. And sports with Vic Lombardi, CBS 4 News. Get the whole story. When we saw Vic, we knew he was the one we wanted for the job. Just super creative. Crazy amount of energy, the connection to Denver, you know, we knew he was our guy. Vic spent 17 years at KCNC, and it was during this time that he cemented himself as one of the best broadcasters in Denver, earning himself 14 Emmys for Best Sports Anchor. Vic was one of those people who, from the very first day, was his authentic self on television. You knew it was genuine with him. And that is absolutely one of the things that made him so special. He has been around the biggest athletes. He's covered the biggest stories. He calls Charles Barkley. Hey, Tra Hey, I need you on the radio show. Boom, done. Who can do that? But he's built these great relationships with people. They trust him. Some may argue that Vic's presence on camera may be his best quality. But others say it's also his fearlessness and art of the interview that might be his best work. At the end of the day, no matter who you're talking to, People like to talk about themselves, and you're just opening that box. It's tough to ask the hard questions, and so to have someone like Vic who was fearless was invaluable. Vic joined Altitude Sports and Entertainment in 2015, and his career truly came full circle. I think the market was kind of a little bit stunned when he left Channel 4, came to Altitude, and you know, it immediately gave us a new level of respect that uh, we needed here at Altitude. Vic's resume of work has blossomed at Altitude Sports. He's had opportunities to do play-by-play -play locally and also did it on the brightest stage, the NBA. Pick and roll. Oh, gosh! Oh! Did he dunk that with his underarm? <laughs> he was there to cover the first ever NBA championship for the Denver Nuggets and was on stage at the championship ceremony. No coach has ever told an opposing team and its fan base to take that L on the way out. He also had the honor to MC the ring ceremony for a national audience. The amazing thing about Vic is he's very much like the Energizer Bunny. He doesn't stop. He gets up in the morning, does three hours of radio to be the number one morning radio show here in town. He then goes over to Broncos, you know, checks in on the Broncos, covers that beat. Then he runs home for a quick lunch with his mom. Then he might get in a quick nap, and then he'll MC a quick event with like a community event, and then he'll be at the arena and doing an hour-long pregame show, work the game, do an hour-long postgame show, probably getting home at 11.30. I'm sure he doesn't go to bed right away, and then gets up again repeating the next morning. While there is a serious journalist side to Vic, there's also a humorous side that makes his work a great combination of being both informative and entertaining. Sports elicits emotion. Humor is part of emotion. You can't be serious all the time. You do have to be somewhat of a journalist. Even people that don't call themselves journalists, they are. You have to have the knowledge of who you're talking about. You have to have the facts. You gotta do your homework. You gotta understand what makes a story. The term GOAT is often debated in the sports world for athletes, but in sports broadcasting, you could definitely make a case for one Vic Lombardi. I think if you were saying to a young student who wanted to be a broadcaster, you would take Vic Lombardi and you would say that. That is what you want to be. He's the full package. Special thanks to everybody along the way uh, that got me here. I can't say enough about the people in Denver when I got to Channel 4 as a youngster. And um, you help keep me. You help nurture me. You help cultivate me. You help develop me. I came in the, the development league there and, and rose to sports director before I left. And just to work with you people there, uh, thank you, all of you. I can't name you all because you all played a critical role in getting me to this place. And then when I made the transfer to Altitude Sports, those same people, it was hard. Change is hard, man. 
going from local television to regional sports. That year, I had a lot of questions about whether or not I made the right call, and I did. And evolution is part of what we do, right? We're changing all the time, whether it's technology, information, how we present ourselves, it's part of it. And there's so many people that helped with that change. And you're only as good as those people around you. So thank you to my family, to my parents, my brothers, my friends, my wife. That's one that will never get enough credit. She had to sit there and watch and sit there and listen as I complained along the way. Because if there's one thing we do well in this business, in the television business, boy, we complain with the best of them. So I'm thankful to be a member of the greatest complaint club in Colorado and in the region, the Silver Circle Award. Thank you. We welcome Vic Lombardi into the Heartland Chapter's Silver Circle. Congratulations, Vic.